Hey everyone, Cardlin back here with another episode of Rhyme. Now for those of y'all who were here last time, you saw us complete the four mini fox statue puzzles so that we can now get the big fox statue. Every time we would free one, so to speak, it would travel back here to its little mini counterpart and now we're here with the main one. Let's see what it has to say. It's a little buddy. Are you my little buddy? <laughs> he is. Wow. Thank you, magical little buddy. He needs a name. Alright. Well, let's get to know him first, and maybe he'll tell us what his name is. Where'd he go? Ah! This guy's got the voice. It's magic. Hey, Fox Buddy. <laughs> Come in. How you do that? <laughs> yeah, you do that. Oh, okay, so there's a little... I need to find a little statue and yell at it. Here we go. <laughs> you guys do that for the rest of your life now? That's weird. Oh, excuse me, piggy. It's not the button. Oh, okay, so it's a timer. Ha! He's a nice guy. Oh, my bad. Okay, well, I mean, I think it's obvious what his name is, right? Just look at him and the way he acts. He's clearly a Jasper. Where'd you go, Jasper? Where'd you go, Jazzy Jazz? Another one over there. Oh, is there? It is it a time thing? Jasper, there you are, buddy. Does Jasper like fruity fruits? Oh wait, what's that? How come there's magical butterflies in this one? Excuse me. Oh, I didn't mean to put that to waste. What? Okay. No, Penelope, this is for Jasper. Penelope, no! Jasper, I brought you a thing, but I think Penelope's trying to take it. Here. No. Penelope, no! Penelope, stop! 
Alright, Jasper, I'm gonna get you another one, okay? This one's gonna be for Penelope. Here, Penelope, you can have a nice little meal over here in the grass. There you go, it's all for you. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. Maybe I yell through this? X. Game's magical. Where'd Jasper go? What kind of Penelope? Rude. These little skull cubes. That was pretty cool. Nope. Oh, whoa. Put the key. Let me know in the comments below if you know what Butiki are. <laughs> These little geckos that live in the... That like hang out in the walls in the Philippines. I heard, um... Uh, how do you say it in Mandarin? It's like... Minho or something. Alright, so clearly I gotta go move that statue first. already looking like it. Oops. Yes. Every time that happens, the controller just vibrates like crazy. Jasper. Where's the buddy Jazzy Jazz? How many times am I going to accidentally sing at something in this game? Okay. Clearly we gotta get back to that later.
Hmm. <laughs> That's gonna happen like probably one out of every four times. Probably one. Jeez, this isn't enough for either. to get that over here. I can't do anything to move this. I can hum all day. Doesn't seem to do anything. I wonder if there's like a way to like store it, you know? Like store an image and... Doesn't seem like it. Back down here with the butiki. Thought there might be something down here for us. Hmm. How do we get you? your humming, weird rhyme guy. I can look through it backwards or something. Jeez. 
That's all I can really think to do right now. The butterflies just show up when I can press, when I can interact with something. That doesn't count, does it? Because boy, if it did. Hmm. What? That's wacky. But okay. I'll take it. Jasper! There's my mysterious Cloak Dad. Be right there, Cloak Dad. This isn't something like I get the subpar ending because I'm not deeply investigating every nook and cranny of this island. Cloak Dad! Cloak Dad, wait! Wait, Cloak Dad! Kingdom of people who worshipped the island statues. The architecture. Excuse me, have you seen my cloak, Dad? Sweet. are just optional in this game. Like, they super don't need to exist. So I don't know what this huge arena is, but it seems pretty epic. And also seems like it'd be great to discover on the next episode of Carlton Casual Plays Rhyme. See you then. Say bye, Rhyme Guy. Oh. Whoops. Well, we'll go see what's up with Jasper and the rest of this wacky magical island in the next episode. <laughs> Thanks for being here, y'all. Cheers. <laughs>